Hello, good evening everybody. I'm writer coach Tony and um, I'm doing now my BL series review for for Hello Stranger episodes 6, 7, and 8. Um, to those who don't know yet, uh, I wasn't able to make any new videos lately because um, I was jailed. No? <laughs> I had to serve my warrant of arrest. But anyway, don't worry about it. Everything's in court already. I've paid all my bills. So I'm a free man again. And I'm not a bad man. I'm still a law abiding citizen. It's just that, you know, some people accuse you of something. And, you know, anyway. So, I don't know when they showed episode 6, 7, and 8. No? But when I checked my files, I had the reviews for episodes 5, uh, up to episode 5. So, Hello Stranger uh, is about these two guys. Played by JC Alcantara and Tony Labrusca. They are Miko and Xavier, respe uh, respectively. And, uh, respectively, sorry. And um, earlier in the series, they were paired together by their teacher, their college professor, in a uh, college project. No? So, uh, that, that pairing resulted in in both of them discovering uh, new feelings no? and these new feeling feelings were um, given more emphasis in epi episodes 6, 7, and 8. No? So what these episodes showed uh, was um, uh, initially um, uh, Miko uh, was sure about his feelings but was still hesitant to, you know, push it forward. Xavier, on the other hand, was also, uh, you know, he composed a song. So I'm sure he was sure of his feelings. It's just that it's all new territory to him. And, you know, uh, you go from being heterosexual to homosexual. Society has so many you know, labels about it. But anyway, I'm just glad, you know, now that there this BL series, and there are many BL series right now, but they're pushing forward the the agenda that uh, young gay men should should commit to their feelings no? and um, the problem with my generation you know, that we grew up 20 years ago as teenagers uh, we had to hide no? I had to pretend I had a girlfriend I had to pretend um, <laughs> sorry I had a girlfriend but it was just you know um, just pretend because we, I told her <laughs> Even when you work, everybody, you know, uh, you know, harasses you. My girlfriend can act. My girlfriend can act. So irritating. But anyway, in this day and age, you don't have to do that. You can just, you know, um, show your true feelings. I think you should, for the good of your mental health. Um, if your parents are a problem, then I don't know. Um, you might have to do it less less or more subtly you know? but i'm <laughs> what i'm saying is that the hello stranger bl series could help many younger men uh, who are you know unsure about showing their true colors to their friends and their families uh, be more brave no? be like be more like miko and especially be more like savior because savior actually has more to lose between the two of them his character has the most to lose no? He's a high school jock. He's the, one of the best basketball players yata in the in his, in his character, and then he has a girlfriend, and then he turns gay. So just imagine the the uproar it will have in the school. But in the abandoned, uh, but you know, this is this is Savior's life. No? This is not your life. So no matter what they say, this is his life. So he has to live his life the way he wants it. If he feels that he's happy with Miko and Miko can give him happiness, then he has to live that life. No? And anyway, if you look at it, no? um, they're not hurting anybody in society. Um, some people may be disappointed, but you don't live for other people's uh, disappointments. Let them deal with that. No? Uh, because the truth is, dealing with these feelings alone, and coming out with it is not easy for the person. If you saw the last six, seven, eight episodes of 
Hello Stranger, Miki was really grieving and he was so unsure. Um, in real life, it's, I think it's even more difficult. No? It would take more than just 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes segments to show what we go through no? when we really acknowledge our feelings and then, you know, like laying it all out to another person. No? So, yun di madali. Even heterosexual people, when they make legal, you know, they're so unsure. Kait sure nga, hindi pa rin sure. No? So, it's the same thing. It's even harder for gay people because you're not sure if that other person will also accept you. Because we have different levels of being out. No? Some gay men are so out. Some gay men are a bit out. Some gay men <laughs> say they don't, nobody knows in their family. So, it's a very, very sticky situation. Um, it's not clear here how Savior is really out. But I have a feeling he's like... 0% out so when this thing blows up you know when the whole school community gets to know that there are couples Mika and Savior then you know that's part two <laughs> that's part two of Hello Strangers and that's going to be messy it's going to be messy it's going to, it will involve other people and sometimes society is not so kind no? um, yeah society cannot sometimes it's not so kind if they you know, they become they become suddenly righteous people you know, oh everyone's going to heaven you because you're both men you're in love you will go to hell that's there's only one type of person they have to deal with and there are so many other types of cuckoos they have to deal with you know, who who interfere with your personal lives so anyway i'm um, glad that i i hope the series has a part two no? um the one the one i talked about like if they do come out, what will be the uproar in the university? That could be part two. Then I will leave to the producers. I'm sure they can come up with something more interesting, no? something light, interesting, and still something that gay people can talk about, no? especially gay men can talk about. Um, I've seen the views, they're almost in the millions. So uh, you can see the demand that there are many <laughs> gay men out there aspiring for that kind of relationship. Um, I think an advice for an old man like me, um, love will not tell you when it will strike, unfortunately. But it will just happen, and just like Miko, you'll feel that your world will turn upside down. And you'll be doing things you don't usually do, you know, you'll understand, you know. Like if you hatid to a person with no care for the gasolina, and where he lives, then you know you have feelings for him. If you're hanging out in the field waiting for him to finish his game, even if you have like 100 million assignments to do, then you know, that is love. There's something there. So you just wish that the other person also reciprocates. And 90% um, of the time they reciprocate no one. Uh, you have to feel it, no? Just like Miko, you have to feel it. Because I know when you invest in a person that's simple, wala siyang feeling sa yon. Um, it's kind of stupid, no? So, sa beginning, mag research ka na, na kung baka magustuhan ka niya. In this case, um, Miko was, ah, no, Savior was able to tell him, eh, no, through the song. Uh, so, uh, there were instances, and then anyway, when they were you know, doing the project, he was saying things to Miko, no? So, at least, alam ni Miko na uh, the feeling is mutual, no? even though he was not sure about it. So that's one thing you have to make sh to think of no? when you want to go into a relationship. Um, so, yun lang. Um, I'm looking forward. I'm not sure if they'll have Hello Stranger 2. Um, there are subplots happening. No? Uh, the guy and the girl no? in the barcada are are already a pair, no? So, aside from that, anyway, I hope there are other subplots they can develop. And of course, we want to see where Savior and Miko's relationship is going. So, I hope they work on it and give us uh, the second season for Hello Stranger. So, thank you very much for your time. Um, keep safe, everyone, and um, see you in the next BL series review.